we can easily figure out past and future of any query. Is there any way to see what's going on with the query in presence? Well, there is a very simple and easy trick. We'll see that today. Hi there, this is Pinal Dave, and I welcome all of you to this another episode of SQL in the 60 seconds. One of the clients recently asked me, they know how to see the past and future of the query. Of course, what they mean is that with the help of estimated execution plan, they can see the future and with the help of actual execution plan, they can see the past of the query. Now, they wanted to know, is there any mechanism or method with the help of which they can see the presence of a query? They wanted to see what exit state a query is and how we can see that easily. Thankfully, there is a feature available in SQL Server which we can use it to know exactly where the query is standing or running. Here we are in SQL Server Management Studio and in front of us, there is a query. Now, before I run this query, I want to show you how you can enable live query statistics. Live query statistics can be enabled by two different methods. First one is by going to query menu and under this menu, clicking on this particular setting, it says include live query statistics. The second one is pretty simple and that is by going to this menu icon and clicking here. Well, now you know how you can enable live query statistics. Next thing is to run this query. But before I run this query, I want to show you actual execution plan of this query, which I have already ran. Here is actual execution plan of the query. Now I have a question for you. Look at this plan and tell me which operator is the most expensive or which operator might have taken the most amount of time to execute. I know what you are thinking. You are going to tell me that the operator nested loop on the left side is very expensive. Is it? Is it true? Well, let's figure it out with the help of live query statistics. Here we are in SQL Server Management Studio, and now I have enabled live query statistics, and next we will execute this query. The query is running successfully, and you can see that right now some of the operator are already done, but some of the operator are executing. Now the entire query has been completed. You can clearly see the operator which we thought is the most expensive actually took the same amount of the time as much as other operator on the right side. Isn't this surprising? The operator which we want to blame is equally slow as much as some of the operator which ran very fast. Live query statistics tells us many unheard stories which we should really know in performance tuning. You want to learn performance tuning? Start observing live query statistics for the query which you want to start tuning. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed what you see, I strongly suggest that you like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. Until next time, have a good day.